Jessie from Jessie Shelf. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So happy you're here. Today I will be doing my very first book review of 2018. I will be reviewing Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, my very first Rainbow Rowell book. If you don't know who Rainbow Rowell is, she's an author, very loved here on booktube. She wrote Carry On, Kinder Spirits, Fangirl, Attachments, Landline, none of those books I've read. This was my first Rainbow Rowell book and I buddy read it with my friends Kayla and Julia here on booktube. I will link their channels down below. Please go check them out. I had a really good time buddy reading with them. We had some really great chats about this book and we were all on the same page. We all felt the same about this book. Now, just a heads up, I gave this book 2.5 out of 5 stars. I really wanted to like it. I liked the idea of it, but it just was not the book for me. This is by no means a rant review. This is just a review on how I feel about Fangirl, but I didn't give it a very high rating and I didn't really like it so just a heads up going in uh, this video I will have my non spoiler section first and then I will go into some more spoilerly thoughts so I'm gonna give you guys a brief synopsis for the people who haven't read fangirl yet fangirl is about Kath and Kath is an 18 year old girl who is very shy and introverted and she is going off to college for the first time now the thing about Kath is she is a fangirl of this book series called Simon Snow which gave me extreme Harry Potter vibes and she writes fan fiction web fan fiction and it is so popular she is famous on the internet for her fan fiction. So basically the story just follows Kath going to college for the first time living in a dorm, a sassy roommate, experiencing kind of a different relationship with boys than she's had before, um, and of course a professor that does not approve of fan fiction. So first I'm gonna go into some non-spoiler thoughts for you guys. So when I started Fangirl I thought I was really gonna like it. I liked reading about Kath going to college for the first time, her dad dropping her and her sister off, and I got some real nostalgia about going to college for the first time like I actually pictured my college dorm room, the college I was at, it was really nostalgic and really cool and I was really really liking it. So I was a bit disappointed as I went on with the book. I will say though the writing was fairly good. Um, I think it paced well and it flowed well and the dialogue was pretty good as well. I also want to touch on in this book are little like snippets about Simon Snow from the original author of Simon Snow made up or from Kath's fan fiction. So I think the idea Rainbow Rao was going with this was to have a event happened to Simon Snow that was similar to Cass, so you can kind of relate them. For me, that did not work. The snippets were not in chronological order at all, so I was confused. I had no idea who these people were. I just knew they were fictional characters like Harry Potter, and yeah, they just were confusing. I read the first few and then I skimmed them and then I completely skipped them. Like there's parts in this book where Kathy's reading out her fan fiction to people or to Levi and I skipped it. All I knew is she was reading her fan fiction and that's all I needed to know. I just found them to be really really messy and annoying and I just completely could have done without them. They just brought down the book for me. There were also a couple tropes I didn't like. Um, firstly, Kath and her sister Ren are twins and Rainbow Rowell really played off the very, very different twins um, trope, I find, but we've got Kath, who is shy, Ren, who's outgoing, Kath, who's into school, Ren, who's into partying. Like, they were just way too opposite, I find. Like, they were just completely up. How do I explain this? It was just tropey. You've got the shy twin and the outgoing twin. Like, there's so many other personality traits Rainbow Rao could have thrown in to Ren and Kath that I feel like it, they just would have been more well-rounded characters and not so tropey. I mean, you've got the twin who's considered pretty and the ugly twin, but they look alike. It was just really... Mm, and I'm not a twin. I do have a sister who's 11 months younger than me, so we might as well be twins. Like, we're pretty close in age, but it just didn't sit well with me. I just found it to be super tropey and super typical. Like any twin book, you're gonna have the outgoing twin and the shy twin and the smart twin and the dumb twin and it just didn't do it for me. Also, Ren was written as the typical freshman party girl and I didn't like that at all. I feel like Rainbow Rao could have done a lot more with her and I just didn't like it because there are so many other things to college, like that is a big part and I couldn't really relate to that because I didn't party a lot in college because my program was super hard and I didn't have time but I just would have liked to see another side of college other than that and I would have really liked to see um, Ren enjoy all the aspects of college uh, more healthy like enjoy the going out part but still getting good marks because you can do that you can enjoy everything in moderation you don't have to go crazy and I just thought that was really tropey and 
didn't really like it. I also think Fangirl was trying to deal with like mental health issues and alcoholism, but I don't think it dealt with it correctly, especially towards the end, and I'm going to be talking about that more in my spoiler thoughts. So going off that, those are pretty much all my non-spoiler thoughts. The rest of the video is going to be pretty spoilery. I'm going to be talking about some events that went down in the book and my opinions of them. So if you haven't read this book, you might want to click out and come back when you've read it. So I'm going to start kind of with Kath. Now it was quite clear, I think, that she had some kind of anxiety disorder. Um, and I think it was I don't know, like, I feel like everybody's experiences with anxiety and their mental health is very different, so I can't comment, but my anxiety was not similar to Kath's in any way, so I don't really know, but I just also feel like Kath was extremely judgy, and I don't think that's always a characteristic of someone with an anxiety disorder. Like, Kath was always judging people for having fun and enjoying college, where she was just in her room writing fan fiction, and that was totally okay. She can enjoy that, but she doesn't need to judge the people enjoying college to its fullest. And what really got me is how much she judged her twin sister, Ren. Now, Ren was totally different than Kath, and we know that, and I already talked all about that, but Kath just judged her about everything she did, making new friends, going out, and the one thing that really bugged me is how much she judged her about having a relationship with their mother. Now, their mother had left them years ago, and then Ren was trying to kind of rekindle her relationship with her, and Kath just judged her and got mad all the time about it, and didn't respect her sister at all, and it really bothered me because... I've dealt with that like a little bit and you need to just respect what other people are doing and their life and it's just none of your business and I just feel like Ren would do the slightest and mention their mom and Kath would just have this huge freak out and she's entitled to be mad that her mom left but she's not entitled to dictate and judge her sister for her sister's choices about their mother either and that just really bothered me and rubbed me the wrong way like Kath and Ren together just really bothered me and rubbed me the wrong way because they were always fighting they were constantly constantly fighting about stuff and they would fight and then the chapter would end and then in the next chapter they'd be okay. So it's like, oh, you guys made up? Like we never saw how they made up or anything. I always had to go, wow, am I reading like a flashback of Kath and Ren when they got along? But no, they were just all of a sudden okay and I just, yeah, I would have liked to see a bit of more of a transition. You know, you got the fight, you got the makeup, and then you've got them being okay. But they just fought constantly about everything. Like every chapter, Kath was getting in a fight with her sister Ren or judging her and being mad at her. And I just, I got sick of it and it was just getting really freaking annoying. Going off that, I just want to talk about Ren a little bit more. Now, I already said she was written as a typical party girl freshman. I already said I didn't like that. So after an event where Ren has drank too much, she ends up in the hospital, she's at home with her dad and Kath, and her dad's very like, you're going to AA, you're doing this, or you're not going to school anymore. And Ren's like, okay, and then Kath basically says, Ren, I'll go with you to the AA meetings, I'll go with you, which I get she wants to help her sister, but Rainbow Rao wrote this, I feel like, just to add in. She knew what AA was, had an idea of it. She knew that maybe that's where Ren would go if she had a problem drinking, so she just threw it in. She didn't actually do any research, because if she had, she would have found out there are open and closed AA meetings, and open meetings are for people you can go, you can bring your sister, your mom, your brother, your friend, counselors can go, psychiatrists, and then there are closed AA meetings, which are most meetings, and this is for members of Alcohols Anonymous only. If you go to an AA meeting with your your friend or whoever, and it's a closed meeting, you will be told to go to Al-Anon. You won't, you will not be, you'll not be welcome there. You're, well, people won't be rude, but it's not for just anybody. It's for people with the desire to get sober. It's for alcoholics. It's Alcoholics Anonymous. And I just feel like Remo Rao did no research and it just really pissed me off because I feel like AA gets this misconception. There's a lot of rumors about it and this book just did not help that. And then all of a sudden, Bren was cured of alcoholism. Like it didn't show her getting better or anything. It was just, oh, she's better. And it just really, really skimmed over. And Rainbow Rowell had the opportunity to really go into depth with this and really address um, college drinking, teenage drinking, and getting help. And she just, she just didn't do it, in my opinion. Didn't do a good job at it. Now I want to talk about Rand and Kath's dad a little bit. So it's quite obvious he's going through a manic episode in this book. And I have no 
that was totally fine. The only complaint I have is really nothing was really wrapped up in the end with him. Um, and the same with Kath and her anxiety and Ren and her alcoholism. It just was not wrapped up at all. It just all of a sudden these issues were gone and Rainbow Rowell ended the book with a Simon Snow sip it section. I was like, okay, so everybody's okay now? It was really, really irritating and I just feel like it could have been done so much better. So those were kind of my biggest gripes with this book was it just didn't deal with mental health in a very good way or alcoholism and it just felt really skimmed over and it just had the potential to be much better. Um, another thing that really bugged me is Kath was uh, in college doing her schoolwork and decided to hand in fan fiction and got upset when the teacher got mad at her. And I thought this was just a stupid move on her part. Who hands in fan fiction to a college professor? Like, and then argues with the college professor about it? I can see it being a degree of plagiarism. I've had people in college get kicked out for plagiarism. Like, they don't screw around with that shit. And I, I don't know all the rules of fan fiction. People say you're not really plagiarizing because you're just taking the idea and changing it. But I just feel like it's not appropriate to hand that in for a college assignment. Also, with Kath, I got really, really frustrated with her when she was putting her fan fiction before her schoolwork because you pay all this money to go to college and university and then you're just going to waste your time and not hand in your schoolwork like no your college work should come first then your fan fiction like I get she has a fandom and she's a fangirl and carry on was really important and had to come out before the first book but I just or the last book I just your schoolwork should come first you're paying to be there you're paying to do it this is the rest of your life like your fan fiction will probably always be there cat I just really thought she should grow up at that point like it was just like grow up and do your school work girl and I guess I should comment on some of the other side characters like Levi Nick and Regan um I liked Levi but he was super unforgettable as regarding Nick I don't really know his point like I understand that his point was there to show like someone um, taking advantage of Kath and her writing because he basically steals their work together but he was there and I thought like a relationship was gonna like flourish and I kind of expected it to and then all of a sudden he was gone and then he was there again and it was just like hi Nick bye Nick hi Nick like it was really oh Nick's here <laughs> like it was confusing and Regan she just made a lot of comments like she asked Kath if she was a picky eater she told her to be on pills and I just thought she was an ass and kind of a shitty roommate to be brutally honest but those characters were just kind of really unforgettable to me so yeah so overall I found fangirl just to be a really overhyped book I was fairly fairly disappointed with it like I said earlier I gave it 2.5 out of 5 stars it had potential but it just was a flop for me I totally get how people relate to this book and calf being shy and introverted and going to college for the first time can be really stressful and I just think Rainbow Rowell did not deal with stuff correctly like there were some bipolar jokes in here too and I just feel like because it's Rainbow Rowell people just looked the other way like if any of this stuff had probably been in a Sarah J Mass book um would have probably been like an uproar and nobody would be reading fangirl I'm just putting it out there uh so that's all I really have to say about fangirl by Rainbow Rowell comment down below uh if you like this book or if you didn't like this book uh please be nice in the comments and uh, I will see you guys in my next video.